Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here. In this video, I'm going to be providing commentary for my floor 191 to 200 Palace of the Dead solo. My first ever time getting through it. Five attempts total, and oh boy, was it a blast. Apologies for this video taking really a week. It's just been a busy one for me, but I'm going to go into a bunch of commentary on some things that I did right, a lot of things that I did wrong, because I personally believe that I got kind of lucky on this set of runs. And if you're curious about the previous sets of floors, floor 180, the boss, and floor 181 to 190. Be sure to check out those videos as well. Anyway, there's going to be quite a bit more commentary in this video because I think I have a lot more to say. We're in the home stretch with floors 191 to 200, and this is where all of the nerves really affect your decision making. And that was the thing I found was really lacking for me in honestly all five of my Palace of the Dead attempts, even before I got up to this set of floors. Now, when it comes to what enemies to pull, how to manage your time, even though I'm on a DPS job, even though I have a decent stock of commanders, it's tough. It's very easy to make a mistake just because you don't want to screw up, you don't want to have to do all those floors over again, and my inexperience really shows with some of my decision making here, especially some of the things closer to the 200th floor. I also firmly believe I got incredibly lucky on these sets of floors because one commander that I did not have a lot of was a commander of Serenity that removes all the debuffs on a floor and you desperately need one for floor 199 because that is guaranteed to have Gloom plus two other debuffs. So if you don't have one, there's a chance you could get Gloom, no abilities, no items. There is also the chance you could just get Gloom, maybe reduced max HP and blind, which isn't undoable, but it's not great either. And uh, you don't have to take that chance. So that Serenity, one Serenity, has to last me 10 floors or have to find another. And I, well, you'll see how it turns out as you watch this video. Now, some things that appear very frequently on floors 191 to 199 are strengths and steals. They are far more common on these sets of floors. And as such, you're probably going to get a lot of use out of them. That doesn't mean you can just use the ones you have willy nilly. You do need to consider budgeting them, how much time you have left, how long they each last, eight minutes a piece, and that's going to really determine how you actually use them. But I found that I got so many that I was very often strength and steeled pretty much the entire time, but just bear that in mind. Uh, again, careful serenities, and really at this point, it's just about picking off easy kills. We don't want to burn anything on these really early floors in this set of 10. So as a machinist, I have tons of kill options, even without strength or steel. These fly traps are super easy. The hippogriffs can be a little bit scary, but they're very, very doable. The mummies are super easy and the patrols are doable with steel. And honestly, as a machinist, maybe without, but you really don't want to have to deal with them on machinist if you don't have to. So as far as I'm concerned, that's pretty much all 191 is going to consist of. 192 for me is largely going to be the same. So I'm going to just let some clips play out. And then between 193 and 200, I'll have a lot more to say. Oh, and actually, I almost completely forgot to mention no rages. That's a real big disappointment here because a rage is a big time save. So yeah, it's a hell of a set of 10 floors. Heaven on high is okay to recline. But at the top, I'm just, it's just anxiety the whole time. This floor is so big that the patrol just hasn't made it over here yet. There's a decent chance that I kill all the mobs I need, and I still need to kill something to get by. I'm kind of hoping to grab this chest in this other room. I just wanted the mummy, the, one of the mummies dead. I don't even know why I'm not killing this mob. On Machinist, those things aren't too bad. Oh. No, this room is safe to hug the right wall. It's a different room where it's not safe. Flight? That's pretty good for this set of floors. That gives us three flights. <clears throat> we definitely want to flight some of the late, mid to late floors. All right, so there is a patrol to the right, and that's where the exit is. So those are two proximity mobs. So we actually need to fight these. So I'm glad that I found this quick. Yes, flight reduces the number of mobs you need to kill by half. So if you would have needed four on that floor, instead you'll need two. If you would have needed 12, which is the maximum, you would need six.
Yes, there is one patrol in these rooms. And I think he's around this corner. Yep, there he is. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab you. And we are going to just go back. Um, Machinist is okay to fight the patrols with steel, so I'm not that worried because I have three steels. So, in case you're wondering about equating what a steel means for your timer, a steel is eight minutes. So I have 24 of my 55 remaining minutes that are guaranteed to be steel. Unless, of course, I die. And that fucks it up. So, anytime you find a spare steel, you bought eight minutes of steel. See, there he is. Alright, so, uh, that wasn't enough. So we don't know, <clears throat> the big thing is we don't know where he's going, but what I do know is these traps will not walk into melee range of me. So I can stand anywhere and still fight them. So it's being a machinist, oh god, uh, well, there is a mummy in this room, but odds are the mummy will stay on the other side. This is my starting room, my dear. Yes, hoard three and then get a fourth is better than using one and then hoping you find a replacement. Especially given that on Machinist, these first few floors are very not steel friendly for Machinist. If you get these traps. These traps are basically free. Now I will say that if this thing aggros, I need to go immediately. <laughs> what I should try to do is get around him. <laughs> Intuition. Yeah, what I should have done is... Okay, I didn't think he was going to stand still for that long. We can make it to the exit now. We know where it is. A pretty long first floor, but not the worst, in all honesty. In case you're wondering, uh, this is a proximity aggro, which means if I walk too close to him, he will just jump on my face. And when I say jump, I mean it. Oh no, I know a steel won't, but it's, uh, I only have one witching left, so, play it close. Yeah, he, he literally, dude, you can tell that that course's favorite movie is Space Jam. Let me just put it that way. It's pretty evident. Um, that's a treasure room? Can I get to any of those chests? I might be able to get to the one on the right. I mean, he might like all of them, to be fair. Now, if there's a Mimic, I'm going to regret this, but... Spare Steel. That's what you love to see. What's going on, Brian? Again, Steels and Strengths are, are much more common. I don't want to say very common, because the last run I got zero. Now is where we run the Gambit. I have made some poor choices before this floor. So while the Steels look nice... There's a big problem ahead of me. Okay, so that's one bullet dodged. And we, oh boy, I say a bullet. You know, I was thinking it too. I was like, what if this is a mimic? This is gonna look like a terrible choice. Good thing I already have steel up, let me tell ya. Oh, there's a fifth patrol, by the way. The, the good news is, because I use the steel, I can actually fight these. So, it's not as... Oh boy. It's not as bad as it looks, but it's pretty bad. Because I have steel, though, these just became fightable. So these are actually mobs that I... It's not that I don't need to worry about them. I definitely need to worry about them, but... Yeah, if that was a Heaven on High Mimic, that would have been a game over, is what it would have been. Alteration, really good pickup. Alterations gets rid of mobs. Oh, that's the exit right there. I can see it. Um, we're gonna wait for this other one to pass. Yeah, no, they still hit hard. I, I fought them in my previous one. Doing it without strength, meaning meaning they'll take a while, is not great. But uh, we really want to pick up Serenities is the problem. Oh, he's 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 lurking. He's lurking. 
Oh no, I'm gonna pick one off. I'm just waiting because this one's gonna pass and then this one's free, free money. Actually, he's not lurking, he's lurching. He's definitely more of a lurcher than a lurker. Alright, we have another one coming. Like I said, he's a big fan of Space Jam. Pretty sure he was in the movie. He was on the enemy team. He's one of the monsters. But his name is Course Kimiko. Why did why did we have to add the P? Somebody else, Anthony got it right. He's a fan of a lot of sports movies. That's why the name of his ability is Butterfly Float. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to kill the one in the back. Fifth time's the charm. It's only my third time past 180, though, so I really only consider that I've had three attempts. Yeah, but a course is also a dead pun. That's why they're called courses and not corpses. Because the term still works. It didn't need the P. We never need the P. We only need the D. Uh, remember, do not hug the right wall on this room. I made that mistake once already. Cords? Yes. We only ever need the D. Alright, I don't know where that motherfucker is going. If he keeps, if he goes that way, okay, yeah, he's going that way. Uh, so that room is one of the only types of rooms that still has traps that are straight up on the wall. Oh, I would have stealed this floor no matter what. It just means I'm not at a deficit. More than half of our remaining time, as long as I don't die, is guaranteed to be stealed. There's still one very glaring concern. The good news is there's no reason for me to go over there. Um, I should pull the mummy just because it's proximity. No, I'm doing good on my raisings. But not on my serenities, which is right now that I, I literally have zero room for bad floors. And it's Palace of the Dead. There's bad floors. Like, I actually need to go out and explore and find another serenity somewhere. In fact, I should affluence again the next floor. Because I affluenced this floor and I haven't even gone looking yet. Oh, hello. Can you come here? Alright, so we can pick that up. Still potential trap right here, so I have to be a little careful. Uh, we're going to alter the next floor then. That's very good. 
These are also easy kills, mind you. And my steel's gonna wear off, so what I can do is I can actually kill these without the steel, and then steal after I kill them. Unless I aggro something here, if this is a Mimic, for example. Spare strength. Yeah, we haven't strength a single time yet. I mean, I don't think it's any tougher for console players. There's nothing in this game that's tougher for console players outside of maybe targeting, like, Alliance members. Alliance members and ground AoEs, and we have solutions for both of those things. Ooh, I almost walked too close. All right, so we don't even need to kill this one. We can save the... This was actually a really fortunate floor. Yeah, but we have solutions for these things, Kristen. Console doesn't need any more hot bars. If anything, console's hot bar allocation is better than PC's is. Yeah, that's not a console problem, that's a you problem. <laughs> Fuck! Turn away! Disobey! Fuck, come on! Why does it have to be the room where there's a potential trap on the right side? Honestly, looking at the angle now, I think I can make it, but... So what I could do... Fucking Christ. I should have gone the other way. What I can do is I can go here and then here. I believe there's no potential trap location here. But there's one here. And I've hit this trap before. Okay. For fuck's sake! I hate you. I hate everything about your stupid fucking existence. I mean, I had to confirm with chat that I was correct about that because I have POTD X. All right, so we're exiting 192 and going up to 193. Now, I, normally I wouldn't have anything really to say about floor 193, but this floor 193 is unfortunately, as you're about to find out, a dreaded no item floor. And on these higher floors, that is a death sentence in the making. You cannot use your sustaining potions. You cannot use any super or max potions you have. The only healing I have on Machinist is Second Wind. And because I only have one Serenity, I can't afford to use it here. I have to try to get through the floor without items. Now, it's a good thing that it happened on some of the earlier floors because there are some monsters that I can choose to pick off that are not the worst. For example, of course, we have the mummies that you can see me kiting here. Those never get harder. I don't even need second win. They can be heavy. They can be binded. It's fine. But everything else gets a little scarier. The patrols definitely become a problem. The fly traps are no longer a freebie because I can't really kite them like I do other mobs. So the hippogriffs, which are very scary, become an option. The mimics, if I run into one, become an option. If I happen to have altered and got a pig Maui, cool. That's some free kills as well. But there are so many things that just become an absolute nightmare. And quite frankly, I'm shocked I made it through this set of floors. I had pretty much given up already when seeing what my palms looked like. And the fact that I even get a win at all is nothing but a surprise to me. Now, fortunately, wraiths are also a very easy choice. They're slow. They stop and cast abilities quite frequently. And so looking for those in the side rooms is what I was trying to do here. They're also annoying anyway, so you want to pull them regardless. But my target selection just isn't fantastic here. I just don't have the right types of options. And on top of that, I could need up to 12 kills in order to get off this floor. So it's just, I was so afraid. But fortunately, I'm on Machinist. So everything's kiteable. I have binds. I have heavies. 
pre-pull sprint an absolute necessity for quite a few things and making sure to save second wind for desperate times. And let me tell you, there's desperate times. The bind for the reburst was probably the thing that I felt like I needed to do the most, especially when fighting monsters like these hippogriffs, because if they ever catch up and they get a crit auto and they get a double auto off, it is frightening. I dodged an auto there and I could not be happier about it. But you're going to see some pretty scary moments on this floor. Just know that a no item floor doesn't mean that the run is lost, but it can mean it if things go terribly wrong. So be very, very afraid. So enjoy me struggling through 193. And by the time I get off this floor, I'm barely going to have over 30 minutes left. Like, I go through a lot of time here. So the fact that this becomes a win, again, huge surprise. Man, if those were Pygmauis... I can't even alter the next floor either. That's the worst part. Why you gotta do a cast right as I'm doing that? Oh boy! We gotta wait. Because <laughs> I would really like to p pick up that mimic. I mean, that gold chest. Time is not good. All right, we're gonna grab this stupid son of a bitch. This guy stops and casts a lot, so. Yeah, my food buffs almost out. Thought I double tapped that. I was about to hit my potion, by the way. You know, that potion I can't use. Can I get some, uh, more phantoms, please? Alright, you guys ready for the mimic that kills me? Who's ready for it? Who's ready for it? <laughs> Not, I mean, wouldn't be bad in most circumstances. Not the greatest in this particular- Oh my god, look at all the phantoms in the distance! There's a dragon, too. Oh, I can't get to it because of all the mimics. All right, we have a backup heal now. Ow. Can you shriek? Thank you. I believe half joy. Man, can I get an exit? <laughs> Man, can I just uh can I get an exit, please? Wubs, thank you for the 39 months. Yeah, you got any of them exits for me? It's actually kind of unfortunate I can't wildfire this thing right away. 
I also don't have any back appealing for this one, so... Close to the end of that, we're gonna slow it. Man, it would've been really nice if my exit opened and I didn't have Mimics to walk past. That I can't get past. Well, I mean, I gotta burn both of them just to get past. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna have to pray. Because these procs, they're, they're in such a shitty spot. So we're gonna use a raising to try and kill one with sprint. Yeah, I'd have to surrender. Oh, yeah, I'd also have to serenity, which is against the whole point of what we're trying to do. Sometimes mimics are really kind, and then there's literally every other moment I play this game. He's gonna try to death trap me first, it looks like. Yeah. Which is actually good news. But this is this is the part where it's it's scary. Because sometimes they just get a billion autos off on you here, and sometimes they're very nice. There's one. Oh my god. We actually fucking... Alright, so I was watching through this and I didn't have this in my notes, but there's one decision or decision-making process that for some reason I never got good at in Palace, and I don't know why I couldn't stop myself. It is a terrible idea to instantly open a gold chest in the starting room as soon as you enter a floor. I didn't even see where the patrols were. I didn't even really prepare for this. I'm not steeled. I don't have food on. I get crit auto by the damn thing. And this was by far the scariest single moment in all of my solo from 191 to 200. Not to mention that I witching the mimic and I still get an Imp, which has auto attack damage that's not as bad as a normal Mimic, but it doesn't give me the opportunity to get back to full and safely go. On top of that, there's patrols coming in and out of the room. I get crit autoed a couple of times. I get crit autoed right off the bat and almost died. Then I get the crit auto while the thing is transformed, and this, I was sure that at the very least I was dying here and getting back up and having to fight the thing again. I got so lucky. So please, if you take anything away from my stupidity, please do not immediately open a gold chest if you enter a floor. Look for patrols, check your food, check your steel or your strength, make sure that no matter what you have a nice situation ahead of you that doesn't lead to the heart attack that this one caused me, and uh, just be smarter than I am because I'm sure you won't have a hard time doing that. Here's the exit. Where are all the factions? Why are there so many? Oh, the exit's right in front of me. This is a treasure room on the left, too. No, uh, at the higher floors only... Okay, we do have dragons. Dragons are safe on this floor, by the way. We actually are okay with pulling dragons. They're considered uh, easy. I, that fucking crit auto. Unbelievable. Of all the things that could have happened to crit auto in that moment. Was not the thing I needed. Alright, we have another faction coming back.
We gotta alter the next floor too, by the way. We have a ton of like alterations and shit. Uh, no, I only have four. Yeah, I want arm's length for something potentially more threatening. Unfortunately, it also doesn't work against the Mimic. Uh, the one mob I wish that arm's length worked on was the fucking Mimic. And of course, it's one of the few mobs it doesn't work on. That's the worst part. Like, it works on these... It works It works on most everything else. There's very few mobs it doesn't work on. In both here and heaven. Alright, so we got rid of the Fatchins. This is the exit room. Um, Bicephashi... What are these things, aggro? These things proximity? Bi Bicep... Bicep phalluses? Proximity? Okay, so we'll steal. We'll have to steal kill those. Actually, I always forget how big the cone is for Evil Eye. What? What do you mean, what? Ari? Bicep phalluses. Look, they got dongs hanging off their arms. Oh, those are chains. Never mind. I knew that they were chains. They don't even have chains, these ones. If anything, the, the more bicep phallus ones would be the grave keepers. Stop saying that combination. What? Bicep phallus. That's how it's spelled. I'm not even making it up. It's just not pronounced that way. The P and the H, they meld together. I'm not even making it up. That's how it's fucking spelled. I mean, I have the best title, which is why I'm not even going for the Necromancer title anymore. Listen, all he's doing is telling you his workout routine. I don't understand what the big deal is. I can't even check this floor. It's way too dangerous. Oh, I'm sure it does mean that, Krista. No auto heal and gloom. Eh, I mean, I'm spamming potions anyway. Uh, let me just check for patrols real quick. Man, it'd be really cool if I could, like... Get some shit? Oh, treasure room of pig Maui's! Alright, yo, give me some shit. This is... That's what you love to see. <laughs> Wait, are there any patrols? You ever just skip a floor? Alright, so let me, uh... Let me not step on a luring trap here real quick. Uh, where's the exit, actually? I want to know if I should sight or... Well, let me pick up the easy ones first. Because I'm, I'm running out of strength steal time in case they're mimics. Bear strength, hug the wall. Let's get the ones close to the wall first. Potsherd. Potsherd. Alteration. Alright, we're gonna alter the next floor too. Steel. Okay, I think we're good on. Oh, there's a mimic. That's fine, because we just replenished all of our shit. We have no auto healing, so. It's just like we have pox.
Now, it's not to say I can't just get crit autoed by this thing and regret life all over again. Or I could parry it. Strength and Steel going down now. We just got replacements for those. Alright, our steel pretty much lasts until one minute left if I never pick up another one. I shouldn't have strength yet, I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna sight. Okay. Strength, and another minute. Oh, okay. Well, that's pleasant. I was just thinking to myself, I hope I have to just butt fuck this thing against the wall again. Ugh! We do still have to get to the exit on this one. And this was not that good, to be honest. Like, the, the overall gain from it. It was okay, but it wasn't that good. In case I take an auto, let me do that. Ooh, good thing I did that. This was flighted, actually. Fucking Christ, of course there's a knight in the way. So knights are proximity and also one of the most dangerous mobs in here. Oh, I let that get me, by the way. Oh, man. Knights. I've had some bad experiences with knights. In fact, I think both of my previous losses before this one, that I made it to 191 to 200... We're both to knights. And so when I see that thing, and I see that it has gloom, so it's stronger, so it's sprinted, I want nothing to do with these things. These things are massive pains that pretty much any job doesn't want to deal with if they don't have to. They proximity aggro, so you can't get past them. If they're in your way, they're staying in your way. You have to deal with them. If they're standing on the exit, they are going to be a problem pretty much the entire time. They hit hard. They have a double auto that's basically a tank buster. They have a donut AoE, so you can't really super kite them. You have to, like, kite them after the donut, and when it does it very quickly after the first double auto. And if they die too slow, they get a massive damage buff, which then means if they manage to hit you after that, you are certainly going to have a bad time. Now, I am in a donut room here, which, if I'm going to attempt this, is the best room. Just being able to kite around this donut in the circle makes for such a convenient way of dealing with some of the more deadly enemies. But the gloom sprint and the increased damage makes me so afraid. The fact that this knight moves out of the way, and it moves very far... Is super important now this is of course one on the exit but uh, i just had to wait this one out too it just goes to show you sometimes just pulling an enemy is not the option sometimes waiting and trying to see if you can get by for free is going to be the better play so remember that the sound aggro the sight aggro and of course the proximity aggro that comes from a lot of these enemies if you have spare raising commanders you might need to sacrifice yourself to get through rooms with these kind of enemies as long as they're also not blocking your exit we can't rage. I don't have a rage anyway, so this is debuff friendly. Uh, Alright, let's pull you first. I didn't see you back there. Yeah, so uh, the types of mimics that exist depend on the floor number you're at. On the higher floors, only golds can become mimics. I forget the exact range. I think bronzes are up until floor 30. And then... Uh, it's silvers up to like floor 50 or 60 and then the rest are golds i know i know that in heaven on high it's golds after 60. i don't know if the exact rules are the same here so that means that only those types of chests can be mimics on those floors not like it's more likely so only a gold chest can be a mimic i never have to be worried about opening a bronze chest on these floors Also, HP up is very good. 
We are still fighting against potentially the, the deadliest thing, and we do not have any spare serenities still. We have not found any spares whatsoever. We did alter this, so we do want to take a look around and see if we got lucky or not. Yes, but however, this floor is uh, knockback resistant, so on this floor in particular, it uh, wouldn't one-shot them. Really? It's only 31 to 40 for silvers? Jesus, they really don't... didn't want silvers getting in the way. That was a failed jump. Don't pay any mind to that. Spare strength. I think we also flighted this anyway, so... Uh, Gormans are proximity. Okay. Uh, our exit room looks like a treasure room, but I might be able to get to it still. Alright, let's turn around and kill this Fatchen. It looks like it's most it's dragons for the most part, and if they're stuck, then I don't have to worry too much. The big hope is that if there is a proximity mob in there, I can just kill it with all the strength steals I have. Did I just fucking spin strap that thing by accident? <laughs> I swear I was delaying the level 5 there. You might have seen a knight. In which case we have to rezo this floor early. That's the other possibility is that that needs to be rezoed. Uh, we'll see. I'll see when I actually get over there. He always thinks. Alright, we're gonna be re strengthening. Try to hold off on a re steal for a second. The HP up gives us a decent amount of safety. There's a symbol. I guess we're spare strengthening now. Alright, so the dragon's looking right at the exit. Oh no, this isn't this isn't uh, a treasure room. Never mind. I thought I saw more mobs, and I guess it was just the dragon being thick. So what we do have, I believe, are three rezos for the last three floors. There is a knight, but he's on the other side. The gormand is a bit more of a concern. Because he's actually standing next to the thing. However, I might need to kill one more mob anyway. Okay, I need to kill one more mob anyway, so that kind of works. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. That's a bi that's a bicep phallus. My bad. I, I, I'm i sorry I made that mistake. However, they do hit very hard, so it will steal. Oh, that's... Well, no, 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 I need to open the exit, like I said. It's fine. He, so he has glass punch, which hits pretty fucking hard. But he does also have catapult. All right, so I was going to do this commentary at the start of floor 196, but I decided to wait till I was closer to getting to floor 197. So 196 is one of the most important floors because at this point you are prepping for your final sprint to the end. So that means you can use things like flights. You probably have very little time left. So the remaining strengths and steals you have become basically free reign. Uh, and then it's just about how am I going to finish this? How am I, I going to get the rest of the way? And my prep to the, for the, the final stretch is not good. Um, Angelus Demonis, who is a great content creator, if you're looking for a deep dungeon resource, he streams most nights. He has cleared Palace, you know, dozens of times. Or he's cleared Heaven on High dozens of times, Palace of the Dead, like, nearly 20 times. He, um, he and I had a chat, and his exact words were, I cringed when I saw you using alterations at the end of your run. So basically 196 plus. I'll explain why he says that later, but many people did highly advise I do not use alterations after 197. 196 was, I was told, still kind of an okay floor to do it, but after 197, it was not recommended. Try to have none of them by the time you get there. 
there's just uh, the gamble between Mimics and Mandragora starts to become less of a win-win. On earlier floors, Mimics can replace unkillable mobs. From here on, there are just a lot of killable mobs, so the Mimics become more bothersome, especially if they happen to all spawn in the exit room. But Strength, Steals, Flights, and soon Resolution Pamanders are key. Any Serenity saved up are now massive, and again, I'm lucky my one has been fine so far. Dude, Grandma Phallus. Everybody has an Aunt Phallus. Come on now. All phallus down the road. Bonus steel. Okay, we did get mimics. And the mimics are in the exit room. So we are going to have to pull those. Uh, we, do, we only need two to six kills. So not that bad, but... So we were actually really hoping we were, weren't going to have mimics in that room. Because I could just rezo kill a few mobs and we would be done. Um, so it's going to be kind of tight. Since we have three Rezos, uh, we do have a lot, and we have a ton of steals and strengths. Like, we have a pretty reliable way to kill a lot of mobs still. Uh, I think Donut Room for these guys is fine. How are these guys in Donut Room? Scary, nothing too special. They are the highest DPS monster. On the, oh no, they also do targeted AoEs, I forgot. We could uh, rezo that guy too. And yeah, would you look at that. Mimics in the exit room. I mean, it's fortunate I flighted this and I only have to kill at most six enemies. And Mimics, again, are still kind of easy. This isn't all the way a gimme floor. This was like, again, the last floor that if I'm going to alter, people said, okay, after 197, I probably wouldn't alter it anymore, depending on what your palms look like, unless it's like, it's that, or you're just game over if you, you know, don't do that. But I mean, it's just, it just goes to show you, it's not good when you have barely a quarter of an hour on the clock and you see a bunch of mimics in an exit room that now become mandatory kills because they have such a wide proximity aggro. And you're just trying to get out of there in one piece. Now, there are other monsters that are kind of scary in here. As Machinist, I can deal with pretty much anything. Those knights are still absolutely the scariest enemy. But these Grave Keepers with their double autos, the Fatchins with their level 5 death, and of course the Mimics, uh, the Gormans have a double auto. Pretty much everything has double autos, and uh, if it catches up to you, it hurts a lot. You just need to kite very carefully, but... Man, those mimics, what, uh, what a decision I made to decide that I needed to alter this floor. Oh yeah, and shout out to the one Serenity that is still okay. I can't believe I made it to 197 and I still haven't used the one Serenity. These floor debuffs were beyond kind. Hard carried by the lack of floor debuffs. That's really good. Although, altars on this floor, since I'm going to rezo are actually kind of questionable. Alright, we need to kill one more mimic. Actually, we don't have to kill that mimic, but we're going to. Just to get him out of the way. Because we should actually rezo. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Um, if this doesn't open it, we're going to rezo kill this Gormand right here. Can you... Are Gormand stunnable? I need two more floors. And I have the run at the end. Oh, time is going to be very tight. If I even make it, because I'm still operating on one Serenity. Which is very bad. But there's also nothing you can do. You just got to play with the cards that are dealt. Uh, fortunately, ranged physical is one of the faster rolls when it comes to finishing the, the run at the end. Alright, that didn't open it, so I think we're going to Rezo the Gormand. I have to be careful, though. I don't know if you can miss with that. There is also a Fatchin up there. Now, let's kill the Fatchin instead. Because if I can guarantee... Because I have flights for the next two floors, so at most I need 12 more kills. And I have... Uh, sights. I actually, I think I have two safeties, but I only have one sight. Alright. 
Passage is open. Flight, altar. Okay, we have an altar and we have that. We're gonna re strength and re steal too. I don't think I heard that many debuffs. Yeah, that's not bad. Gloom is a little scary. We definitely don't want to fuck around with some of the things. Uh, so we're going to safety first. Uh, Bicephalus's can't be stunned. Gorman's can't be stunned. Oh, let's remember to do this now, too. There is a knight on the right. Okay, Gloom sucks, but HP up is massive for floor 198. It makes what I want to do on this floor, and honestly, if I had it on the next floor, it would also be great. It just makes what I want to do that much safer, even under Gloom. So in the final few floors, pretty much everything other than altered mobs are undead. Now, if you've been remembering some of the earlier floors, our resolution commanders specialize in killing undead, and they become speed-killing floor clearing tools. Now, it takes about three shots with a strength commander up to kill an enemy with a resolution pop. And if these floors are flighted, you only need two to six enemies total. Usually I found myself killing three, maybe four enemies with a resolution pop on Machinist. So it just helps a ton to just be able to kill a mob in about 10 seconds on these floors versus kiting them around for a full minute or longer. Just make sure, recommendation, Pot, use a sustaining pot before transforming, and be very wary of your health. Your spell can be interrupted by really hard hitting attacks, like an attack from a knight, for example, and auto regen to get your health back between mobs is key. Without it, resolutions are very unsafe to use unless a monster can actually be stunned. So if you get a no auto regen floor, it becomes a lot scarier to actually use this. And again, thank you for the luck, game. Have this palace keeper uh, we have to actually go past the mimics which is a little scary on time yeah it's looking like it's gonna be really tight for me to actually beat this in the time limit so much so that I kind of I mean if this was Pygmaui's I'd be in the clear yeah I have to go this way so I'm gonna fall behind him uh, that mimic is probably gonna aggro oh and would you look at that mimics why am I altering these floors again I don't know I'm an idiot. And you know what? Now I gotta fight one. Whee! You just had to be in the room farthest away, right? Uh, we should also re-strength, re-steal, because it's all or nothing at this point. Mm -hmm. Uh, you come here. Unfortunately, there's still max skill floors. Oh yeah, I did safety this floor. Oh my god. I didn't think it was going to hit me that hard through steel. Oh, if he double autos me again, I'm gonna die. Oh, he can be fucking heavy. What am I doing? Oh my god, he's still so fast because of the fucking thing. I'm gonna get out of the room, at the very least. Oof. Right, my sprint is on cooldown. I don't know what you want from me. All right, so here's what we're going to... It's only... Okay, we got the piss key. Flighted floor, by the way. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, yeah, they have sprint. Yeah, yeah, I know.
All right, and with that, as Doctor Strange would put it, we are in the end game now. For 199, everything you possibly have, you gotta throw at this. Except maybe an altered, which I have done anyway. Even though the last two floors have been mimics, what's the worst that could happen when I alter 199? I don't know, I'm sure the mimics aren't gonna be in the way or anything. Anyway, we got our Rezo Pamanders, we got Strength, we got Steel, we got Raising. Let's see how it pans out. Just no abilities, too, wow. Uh, sight. It's very far away, but what we are gonna do... Restrength, strength re-steal, just to be safe, looks like... Alright, there's a big-ass room over there of problems. Uh, we can probably sneak by that room, to be honest, but what we're gonna do... Get that knight on the left to make room to go by. Uh, we can also sack. Let's just kill mobs, actually. Alright, so after I kill this next mob, the exit's gonna be open, and we gotta find our way to it. I haven't really been making mention of sites and safeties, but if you have them for these last few floors, definitely make sure they're there so you have free range of motion. We wanna know that I'm safe from landmines, lurings, whatever, so I can use all the space imaginable and get to that exit ASAP. We're gonna do a raising sack here, where we just run past a bunch of mobs. We don't care if they kill us, because we're gonna re-raise in the exit room, and moment of truth, Pig Mowies. Now you can see that if I had lost the alteration gamble and those had been mimics, my run would very likely be over. Yes, I have a little more than three minutes left, but do I want to have to kill a mimic or two to get to the exit when you only have about 40 to 45 seconds to make the run here at the end? No. That's what I mean by decision making in these higher floors and my inexperience really hurting me. This run was handed to me on a silver platter by the game. The stars align, and I don't consider it a skillful win. But a win is a win. Not being sc screwed by four debuffs carried me alone as well. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening to me. I'm actually going to replay this little exit sequence so that way, you know, you can hear my commentary, my nervous commentary towards the end all the way through. So go back, see it again, and thank you again to the Deep Dungeon community, to Angelus Demonis for all of his advice, all of your advice in general. It was a great climb, and who knows, maybe I'll go back and actually get my Necromancer title this time. That's right, I started from floor 51. I'm not ashamed of it. My title's better anyway. Anyway, uh, let's start this floor over and enjoy the end of the video. Yo, can I get some fucking blessings in the chat for the Pygmoeys? We got three minutes. And no, I'm in no way more upset about my decision with 150. I'm in no way less upset about it. I am in no way less upset or more upset about it. Now do it again. Yeah, this is my moral necromancer achievement. <laughs> Aloha. I got the fire crest. I wanted the pumpkin though. I got two minutes. Let me take a screenshot with it real quick. Yo, you think I should just time out on purpose? <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> Do what you want. No, you're right, I won't. There we go. You fucking troll. Hello, Bencheroo. I can't believe the Pygmaui room at the end. The Pygmaui room. The Pygmaui room. The freaking Pygmaui room. Necromancer height. <laughs>